in today's interview, we have Ross Gordon from Cold Years. Thank you so much for taking your time. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? It's, I'm great. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I'm loving the uh, Scottish summer weather that I'm seeing right now. It's just uh, complete rain. It's great. <laughs> oh, no. So you're still in Scotland? Yeah, still in Scotland just now. Um, it's been, uh, you know, I think it always gets to this time of year when we're like, oh, it's going to be nice. The sun's going to come out. Winter's over. And then it snows in the middle of May. It's weird. This country's weird. Um, so um, your tour in Germany is coming up, actually. So what are you most excited about and how are you preparing for it? Uh, I'm excited to play music again to a live audience, which is something that I think every band recently has had a real challenge um, missing. And I think it's just cool to um, feel a crowd again, especially in Europe, because Germany for us is it's one of our favorite places to play. Um, and people over there love music so much. It's like a really special experience to play in that country. So this weekend I'm doing like 20 hours of rehearsals like to get ready for going away. So it's like, it's a lot, but it's really super exciting. So really That's exciting. awesome. <laughs> and um, so do you have any rituals before you go on stage or like, how do you warm up your voice, for example? Uh, exercises, like an hour of vocal warm up and uh, then a shot of whiskey and then we're all good to go that's that tends to be like what the the ritual is um and we all kind of spend some time uh behind the stage saying having a conversation staying relaxed and then you have to hype yourself up to go and do it so you have the energy so it's like a real uh experience for us sounds great so um do you have any personal item you have to have to with you and bring on tour books I like books. I read a lot when we're away. Um, either that or, you know, an acoustic guitar and a laptop because we're always writing music. So and writing while you're traveling is a really cool thing to do because you have lots of time in a van or a bus and um, it gives you the opportunity to sit and write music when you, you're, you're not doing anything. I like being creative all the time. So it, it helps. Yeah, absolutely. Makes sense. <laughs> And you recently released your new album, Goodbye to Misery. So what was the writing process like and what inspired the album? So Goodbye to Misery was weird because uh, in this country, we just got into a lockdown and uh, I couldn't do anything. So our label phoned us up and they called me and they were like, you know, you should make another album because you, you can't probably tour for like another two years or something. And uh, I was working a job at the time at home on a computer and I'd be doing like maybe nine till five. And then I would go through to my other room and, and write music for like 10 hours. And we were doing that every single day, you know, for like months on end. Um, and it was a really cool opportunity to focus on music because regular life sometimes gets in the way of creativity and you don't really have a lot of time to try to balance, you know, friends, family, a job, house, dog, or whatever with music. So this was a real opportunity for us to really focus on that. And the record covers a lot of different um categories but i guess the overwhelming thing is like you know music is back live music is back the world is going to go on it's going to be a better place um it might not return back to the way it was before but it's better than it's been in the last three years and i think this record celebrates that it celebrates the fact that we might be able to go and see shows again and that there's some hope again and that's what that album really represents yeah. that's awesome so is there any specific song that's like really important to you all of them, but I think uh, I think 32, the, the the opener to the record. It's like the the thing where it's like if you if you're not happy with where you are in life and things aren't going your way, then you need to go out of your way and fight for them and change them yourself. You know, and I think that's what that song represents. Um, and that to me was really really vitally important, um, for setting the tone for the whole album. And then to more recent news, you have a new drummer, <laughs> Jimmy Taylor. How, how is he adjusting to the band and how are you preparing him to be on tour considering he wasn't part of the recordings and such? He, uh, Jimmy is the sensible one. So like we all like to party a lot and like have fun and we don't take ourselves very seriously. Jimmy is quite serious uh, in a good way. He like, he calms us down, which is nice. And uh He's a really talented guy. Like, you know, I've been on tour with Jimmy before because uh, we met him on a tour that we did like 2017 in the UK. And he was in another band called Dearest, who we toured out with. And uh, 
so I've been on tour with Jimmy before and he's a really good guy. And uh, yeah, he didn't play on the recordings. It was a guy called Sam Ogden who plays in Static Dress that played on the recordings. But Jimmy has been playing these songs live with us now for the best part of six months in the rehearsal room. So, and he did that UK tour with us back in December. So um, yeah, really excited to, to tour with him. And uh, yeah, he's gonna, we're, we're prepping him you know, and what to expect on some of these dates is cool. It's just, for, it's his first time ever playing out with the UK. So it's really cool for him. That sounds so exciting. Well, I'm glad it seems like everything's working out and it seems like you're really in sync and it's just, you know, working out. So um, thank you so much for this interview and taking the time. It was a pleasure talking to you. And is there anything else you'd like to tell your fans? Uh, you can catch us in May in Germany when we come up out on our own headline tour but you can catch us again in June and July when we're out with Laura Jane Grace um, on that on a three-week tour around Europe and then you can catch us again in Germany in August uh, when we're back doing some more headline dates and we might be announcing something else this year so hopefully we'll see you a lot in, in Germany this year. <laughs> awesome well we're ready for you I can't wait to see you live on stage. <laughs> Thank you so much and yeah thanks. <laughs> thanks.